Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, November 7th. I know this date very well. Today my daughter turned 31. One of my daughters turned 31. We went to her home. She just bought a home a few months ago and it's a 40 minute drive, but it's always so nice to go and visit her, you know, spend time with her and then see all the new stuff that she's gotten since our last visit. So that was really nice. Um, yeah, she'll, for cake, she chose pumpkin cheesecake, which I love everything pumpkin, and she loves everything cheesecake. So to put it together was really good. She got it from Costco. Now, I'm not a Costco shopper. I used to have a card, but because I never went, it was just a waste of money. I used to like their pizza when they offered a combo pizza, and they don't offer that anymore. So it's really no reason for me to go. And if I ever want something, well, she can go and pick it up for me. But yeah, so she's a Costco shopper, and so she got the cake there, and it was really big. It was like a... I want to say nine or bigger round cake and it was really really delicious i made puerto rican rice which is the arroz con gandules my husband made ham so we took that over there with some french bread and she made some carne asada and she made her amazing macaroni salad so we ate real good we had good dessert we sang her happy birthday and of course she opened all her gifts and she loved them i got her a nice pair of boots it's winter time and she's been wanting some boots i also got a cell phone cover that she's been wanting it was on her amazon wish list a blouse that was on her wish list um, a domino's gift card and then my husband got her some converse shoes he got her um a visa gift card and my other daughter got her a sweater and I can't I'm sorry remember what else but she got a lot of gifts everything she wanted so yeah it was really fun we just had a good time and then we got to spend time with my granddaughter so um, but I have pictures and videos that I'm gonna upload how we celebrated her birthday so you'll get to see the whole thing but oh, I got a lot of heartburn sorry um, so we've been home for a few hours now time changed last night so i'm just feeling really weird always the first few days at least i feel really off when the time changes i have to just something in my body like all the tablets electronics they're you know they change automatically the only thing that we have to change is our stove um but it still it just throws me off it's only an hour difference but it just for some strange reason throws me off so i gotta just get my my flow with it um what this video is about this video is about this little money haul so yes yeah, so i bought just a couple of things um because i'm having a really important health procedure done this coming friday the 12th and so i needed to focus my attention my time and my money on that because it's three hours away so i have to get a hotel the night before it's a very um step by step very restrictive procedure so i didn't want to be buying when i need <clears throat> um my money to make sure that's all good and then when i come back home and that's over with i can go and do my thing all my ordering and my shopping so anyway let's get straight to the um the mini haul and if i get anything else and i have some space i'll add it to this video um but this is what i got for now so one of the first things i got was a few watch bands for my Apple Watch. Now, as you know, if you watch my new revamp watch collection, I have several smartwatches and I love them all. The Apple smartwatch was actually my first baby. It was my first smartwatch watch that I ever got and it was a blessing to me because of the electromagnetic field that was going on in my body, killing the batteries and it didn't kill this one because you charge it. So I have a special thing for that one and I have tons and tons of bands different kinds acrylic bands silicone bands metal bands you name it mesh bands so i also did an um a video on the accessories of my apple watch and other accessories to the other smart watches so check that out if you haven't seen it so there's a few more that i wanted to buy so i'm gonna it's kind of like an update so i got this one it comes in this little baggie right here and it's a lv now i am not saying this is a louis vuitton it does have the look of it but I'm not saying it's Louis Vuitton. They didn't title it the Louis Vuitton. Um, it has nothing, I think, that it could have been just different initials because I have like Michael Kors. I love all type of designers and I have Michael Kors brand and I have another woman who also her name is MK and it's Mia something. I can't remember what her last name is and she's a designer. And so she puts her initials on um, her emblem on her bands just like the lv does so and it's not that she's trying to be michael kors because she's not she's a whole separate designer that just happens to have um 
the same initials as Michael Kors, so check her out. I have a lot of her stuff. Um, so this, this, the title on here is not um, Louis Vuitton at all. So, um, and it wasn't when I ordered it, I don't think on the thing either. It's a luxury watch band. That's all it says. So it's not a, like, I don't even think it's a dupe. It's definitely not a copyright. They're their own thing. Um, so I don't know. I just kind of just bought it because I need it brown. Um, I don't have a lot of brown watches. In fact, I just got a brown watch for my anniversary. It was a his and her watch that I got for me and my husband. And But after a while, I used it once and I do not like it. But it's too late to return it. My husband has other ones, so I would have to return his. So... You know, I'll see if he likes his and if he wants to continue wearing it, he can. I have it in my collection, but it's not my favorite at all. It just wasn't what I thought it would be. So I wanted another option of brown, and that's pretty much why I bought it for the color. And of course, I love um, the emblem, and I love when there's initials on, you know, purses or bands or whatever. So I don't know what this initial represents. It didn't say a name of a person or anything and I'll show you the photo order and um yeah I'll show you the photo order I'll, I'll look it up again in fact let me look at it real quick So, yeah, I looked it up. The, actually, the image of it, it obviously had an image when I ordered it. Um, because otherwise, how would I have seen what it looked like? It's so, no longer available, the image, but it does say the same thing as the bag, a luxury watch band. So, it mentions nothing about it trying to be a Louis Vuitton or whatever. Um, I just ordered it. It was selling on Amazon. I Obviously, it was okay with Amazon. So... I'm just buying it, you know. Amazon is the one that has to check things out and see what their sellers are selling, so I have nothing to do with that. But I just really wanted it for the brown color, and I like this because it matches. I don't have a Louis Vuitton purse. I used to have a ton of them. I don't have them anymore. Um, I don't have a wallet or or anything Louis Vuitton really. And I love Louis Vuitton and I had a ton of purses and wallets and stuff like that. But that was back in the day when Louis Vuitton first came out. And like I said, with all the, the domestic violence that I was going through and the trauma, a lot of my stuff, it's like, I don't remember what happened to it. It's really crazy. But I wanted it for the brown and I saw it had LV on there, but I knew for the price, it most likely wasn't. It's kind of like a suede material on this side. But, um, you know, like I said, I have that Mia, I forget what her last name is, but she has the same initials as Michael Kors, but she's an authentic designer. And she also puts her MK on her stuff. And I got quite a few stuff from her. So it is possible for somebody to have the same initials. Um, you know, it does look similar, but you know, it's something that you have to check out on Amazon and see what the real deal is about it. But like I said, I I did like the lettering, but and it does remind me of Louis Vuitton, but they, they didn't title it Louis Vuitton and it never mentioned anything about it. So I just love the look of it. And I figured even if the initials don't match, it matches my Michael Kors wallet. And other, I have a guest wallet that also is this color and this pattern looking so um yeah and i thought it could match all of those um i didn't really care if it was you know linda violet you know i didn't i wasn't even looking at that i just wanted you know i love the look and that it matched just like my michael kors and the guest that i have so and the brown color because i'm telling you that brown watch that i got is just bad sad situation so yeah that's what i got and you know what? I even went on there to look and I was going to tell you the price and I forgot. But of course, I'll put a photo of the order. I'll put in my description bar how much it is. So yeah, so maybe it's something that if you really want to know if it's supposed to be whoever, um, just check it out. Um, I don't even see the reviews. So maybe you should see the reviews and stuff like that. 
like I said, I just got it for the look. So, and I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. So, yeah, and it did not cost that much. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. So, anyway, I got another two. These are silicone bands. They also came in this one right here. They also came in that, both of them. So they were like back to back. And I got these because it reminded me of the original um, famous colors of Gucci. Now, I used to have a Gucci watch back in the 80s. It was like a thin bangle type. It clipped. It wasn't one of those clip-on bangles. I hate those. And it had the, um, the dial because it was a round face, you can switch. It had a whole set of different color dials, and so you would take it off and put the color that matched your outfit. I love that. It also had the famous original um, green with red stripe that Gucci is known for, and so I want to get that, but you know that watch, I think I paid a few hundred back then in the 80s. It is now in the thousands. I looked everywhere for it. I'm not going to pay a few thousand. I'll pay a, a couple of hundred, 500 max, max. But um, I'm not that crazy. I'm older. I'm smarter. I'm wiser. You know, I love my designers and I love good quality stuff and I will invest in them. But thousands, I also want a Rolex, but you won't see me paying twenty to 50000 for a Rolex. It's just not going to happen. So um, I just, you know, when you get older and smarter and wiser, you just think of so much you could do with that money. Um, you know, but if I got as a gift, I would be very grateful. Um, so... Who knows? Maybe one day my husband will be inspired. I don't think so. He, he wouldn't pay that. And I'd be like, are you crazy? <laughs> you know, so one, but one day I have a feeling I'm going to get it back and it's going to be one of the joys of my life because of the fact that I had it back in the 80s and I don't remember with all the domestic violence and the trauma, I don't remember what happened to it. So it's really sad. But I could get the next best thing, which like I said, this is original um, famous colors that Gucci uses, but now this is not titled Gucci. It does not have G's on it, so it is not a representation of Gucci by any means, and people can put whatever colors they want, so I'll put the photo of the order, and I'll also put, um, if I don't put the photo of the order, I'll put it in the description bar, so hopefully I can remember, because I always mean well, and it doesn't work. Then I also got these bumpers. Uh, if you've seen my revamp watch collection and you've seen the follow up video, which is the Apple watch band accessories and some accessories of my other smartwatches, you will see in there that I have these bumpers. Now, most of them like are silicone bumpers, kind of like the watch here. Let me show you that. Did I even show you these really well? So that's how that looks. Um, I don't know if I even got a close-up on this one. Just recapping. So, yeah. So, um, I have a lot of silicone ones and a lot of metallic, um, soft. Um, it's kind of like silicone, but it's a metallic. Um, so, I did get that. Uh, I do have that in my collection, a lot of them. But I wanted to get these because they were very elegant. Comes nine in a pack. I like the crystal likes. So, when I want to go somewhere extra fancy or to a special occasion or I want to go to church or what have you. I wanted to do something a little more, bit more elegant than just a silicone or even the metallics are really pretty too because they're that shiny metallic. But this is just like one more level up. And so I wanted to get that comes nine in a pack. So I'll show you those. Bring them all out. So we have like, a, I don't know if this one's a like a rose gold. I guess, if you will, one or like a um, metallic pink, okay? Then it has a violet one. It's like a purplish pink. Then there's, of course, your black, which is nice. Then it has, these, this is the rose gold one, like, let me see. I'm looking in the light here. This is the rose gold one, so yeah. Then we have the gold tone one. We have your just your regular clear plastic, which I don't like the clear plastic, but I'll see. If not, I'll give it to my daughter, she likes it. It has the silver tone one. It has this beautiful, is this red? Yep, red one, beautiful red one. These are just so elegant. And this, I wanna say is a it's like a bluish green, kind of like a teal, a metallic teal. That is so 
elegant. So I can't wait to wear these. Like I said um, in my previous video, I don't like the ones that come with an automatic screen protector here because water gets in if you wash your hands, brush your teeth, whatever water gets in. I used to constantly take them off and have to clean it and it messed up the screen protector. So I already have a uh, screen protector on my phone without the bumper. The bumper is separate. That's how I like them. Um, so that works out perfect for me. Last thing on this space or in this video if i have space for more stuff and i happen to get more stuff added to this video if not this will conclude this video because i already took too much time talking so i also got this jewelry box which i love it's the mirrored as you know um when you probably saw uh, my revamp watch collection i two of my watch cases are mirrored and then i have two mirrored jewelry boxes and then i had a small one like this one which I had kept some of my jewelry in and then I put my bands in it because my bands were really tight in the jewelry box drawers and it was hard to see them and get them out. So I switched into the one that's like half of this, like this size above. And then that was kind of still too tight because I have a ton of bands and bumpers. So I saw this last night in Ross and I decided to get it. Look at those. It's like crystal likes. It's like shiny. I don't know what you call it. It look, almost looks like foam, like a shiny foam, but it's like a shiny crystal. Like, I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. So beautiful, it's just like my other one, it said, except my other one has a saying on it about love. So I got this one because I thought this would be perfect for all my watch bands and my bumpers. So it's neat. It doesn't look like that in the picture right away, but it is um, organized in there. So, and probably because I'm leaning it, it's making the bumpers come forward. So maybe I'll turn the camera around so you can show, see exactly what it's like and how I have it. So you will know that it is, it kind of, when I leaned it over to show you, it kind of, um, kind of ran over the other stuff, but um, I'm trying to put it back together now sorry i'm just trying to put it all back together so let me show you so this is the inside of it it still kind of looks messy but trust me it's not i have to move some stuff over because when i leaned it over to show you guys it did kind of run over the other stuff so on this side i have my acrylic my acrylic band ones, which I have several different colors. And then in the middle, I have all my bumpers, the silicone bumpers, which are these, and the metallic bumper, which are these. And then over here is all my metal and mesh band watches. And over here are all my silicone bands, but this is a different silicone here. And I got them rubber bands so that both can stay together, both sides, because it's one goes on one side, one goes on the other side, so I rubber band them together. These are plain silicone, and then you put the um, this in the hole. This one has a lot of holes in it, and it's a buckle style. So and then you got the sunflowers, you got all those designs on that section. On this section, it's all plain with the button. Bumpers, acrylic bands, mesh and metal bands, sorry. I'm trying to hit my hand, smash my hand. But that's how it looks inside. And then I'm gonna add these bumpers that I just got and these um, bands for my Apple Watch as well. I'm gonna add them into here. And I'm going to be so happy. I love them all. They're all cute and um, trendy and stylish. And I have bands and bumpers for every occasion. So your girl's happy. I'm loving this mirrored um, thing. There's two cases that are not mirrored. They're a clear glass where you can see on top, but it has a bottom drawer, as you see in that video of my revamp watch collection. But two are, and it's hard to keep mirrored because these can break really easy. So you have to really be careful and take really good care of them. Um, and I do, but I've had the one that's half the size did chip on one side. Um, but you know, you could still use it. You just have to be careful because one side is real smooth and on the other side if you're not careful you can cut yourself um, and then on one of my watch cases I noticed it chipped on the side so that's why I decided to go with the black um, kind of vinyl or not vinyl 
patent leather kind of thing. I don't know what's the material, but it's not mirrored, but it does have the clear glass, which I like. So I have um, watches in those cases, and I still have some mirrored watch cases, and now this mirror jewelry box, and I also have two, um, three drawer set of mirror boxes too, so um, of jewelry boxes. So yeah, so this is the new case that I got for all of my bumpers and smartwatch bands. And I'm loving it. It's a big size. This one was, see, I don't want to turn it over. It was like 29. Let me see if I can lift it up. It's actually $14.99. There was something else that I got for $21.99. I think it was my flat iron. But there it is. I got it from Ross for $14.99. So I think that's going to be it for this video because I'm at 24 minutes probably i don't like to do my videos more than 30 i try not to do them less than 15 um like i said i'm not gonna buy anything this week so this may be the cutoff for this and if i buy anything else i'll just do a separate mini regular or big haul whatever it is um separately so i really hope you enjoyed a little update in the beginning and also my little mini haul here if there's anything you like remember i'll put the um photo of the order or i'll put the information in the description bar and so if there's anything that catch your eye that you would like you know exactly where to get it and yeah so that's it for now i am going to go and make my coffee cappuccino get on my comfy spot on the couch watch some christmas movies because i've been into christmas movies i could watch christmas movies all year long and i have a huge collection of christmas movies so i've been into that lately just like crazy but i also watch other good movies as well and my little house on the prairie all the good stuff so i'm gonna sit on that couch i'm gonna drink my coffee cappuccino watch any movies that i want to watch i'll catch up on a little youtube at first catch up on the news then I'll get into my movies and I'll be there until it's time for me to shower and go to bed so anyway I really hope you enjoyed this kind of just update mini vid um, haul video um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like of course and that's about it so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video